Welcome to the Companion Co-Pilot Navigate video. Want to help your pilot and be more a part of this great flying experience, but need some guidance? You've landed in the right place. Come along and explore how you and your pilot can navigate together for a safe and enjoyable flight. Let's go. Just like you would for a road trip, you'll use a chart for navigation. But aviation charts look a little bit different from those used in your car. Let's take a look at the most common chart used, the sectional chart. Your pilot will likely plot a route using an electronic sectional chart that can be regularly updated and downloaded to an iPad or mobile device. It's called an electronic flight bag, EFB. Similar to using your phone or a navigation system installed in your car, it's a lot handier than having to hold and fold paper charts, although it never hurts to have one as a backup. Airspace and terrain are important considerations in your pilot's route planning, as your flight may cross different airspace with specific navigation and communication requirements. Airports shown in blue have an air traffic control tower and require clearance to take off or land. Non-towered airports are shown in magenta and don't need air traffic control clearance to land or take off. As you climb into the co-pilot seat, You'll see the instrument panel with a cluster of primary flight display instruments on the left side. Usually, modern avionics combine a radio and navigation stack that is generally located to the right of the flight instruments. This handy location allows a pilot or co-pilot to input frequencies and navigation waypoints. The stack includes screens that can display a flight plan or a GPS map to track your flight's progress. Once your pilot has loaded the flight plan, the route displayed should look similar to what you see on the EFB. Other than entering and following a flight plan, your pilot has the option to fly directly to a waypoint. This is helpful for a quick fuel stop and stretching your legs. To make it easy, the GPS has a direct to function. You'll need the airport identifier, which you can look up in the EFB. With your pilot's help, Enter it into the GPS and voila, you're on your way. Onboard GPS has many great functions. For example, it allows your pilot to quickly locate the nearest airport, monitor fuel range, and know the estimated time of arrival at your destination. Another useful tool for navigation is the autopilot system. Autopilots are very useful, especially during high workloads, such as when your pilot is flying through inclement weather but it's also a great help during a long flight in good weather as it reduces fatigue and reduces the workload for your pilot. After reaching cruise, your pilot may engage the autopilot to navigate and follow the GPS flight plan and then disengage it before landing. One of the nice things about the electronic flight bag and GPS is that they can depict the airport diagram. This provides a bird's eye view of the runways, taxiways, and fixed base operators, FBOs, on the field. But don't get fixated inside the airplane. Do keep your eyes out the windows for other traffic anytime the aircraft is in motion, and simply call it out if you think it's a conflict. That's it. You are now cleared to navigate. Enjoy your adventure and have a safe flight.